All right, Debo. What up, man? Today is February 18th. February 18th. It is right now, 3:35 p.m. in the afternoon. Yes, sir. At approximately 6:45 and 7 p.m. this evening, you be stepping in the back room to have what's known as the back room brawl here at the RAC. You know what I'm saying? You're currently working in the store, the champ, store number 1921, where yours truly. The handsome headbangers, the store manager, and um, you got a big bout tonight. To some, it would seem to be a big bout. To some, it would be a question as to why this bout would even take place. But I just want to get your side of the story and what you see happening tonight. I forgot I had a fight tonight. So, man, this guy, man, we got something we want to get off his chest with me, man. You know, I'm a man. Yeah, man, we gonna handle it like men. I feel this boy, he ain't been through enough to get it on with me yet, man. You know what I'm saying? He a youth. He a street punk, man. I have been through too much in the streets to let this fat nigga beat me, man. I'm winning, man. You put all of it on it, man. Ain't no, he ain't got no wins against me, man. None at all. I guarantee a victory, man, like Joe Namath. I guarantee I'm gonna whip that boy out. Word up. You can put anything you want on it, man. That dude called me out, man. You know, I ain't want to do it to him. He wanted it. You know? Your words sound real confident. You looking you looking like, like, like a dude that's in good shape. Feeling kind of cocky. But can your chin stand up? Come on, man. Like a pole, man. Like a flag at Yankee Stadium. I'm good, man. I'm good. I've been through too much, man. I'm telling you, man. I'm a veteran at this, man. I got pounded out back in the day. I'm pounding because I ain't been through nothing. Roman? Come on, man. A G.I. Joe action figure, man. A toy, man. He ain't got nothing for me, man. Nothing at all, man. He ain't been through nothing. He ain't been through his last two fights, man. Come on. It was you, Terry, whipped him out. And nigga, come on. He's keep on to be fighting little Eddie. Big Eddie, you know he? Come on, man. I'm gonna make him tired though. You wanna change sport. I didn't tell y'all the story. Y'all here through the grapevine. I went straight to the horse. Y'all heard it from the horse's mouth. You know? As usual, and from here to forevermore, I still will be the best there was, the best there is, and the best you'll ever see. This is the headbanger signing off. Some Until the next time, fight you. fans out there, once again it's me, the number one contender, the top ranking fighter in the history of Renner Center backroom brawls, still a champion, still sitting on top. I got a fighter with me today. That basically he's coming, coming back from a loss, but he's coming back with redemption. This fight is a personal fight. This fight is a heartfelt fight, and this fight is an, an emotional fight. For the young man, he's taking on Big Debo today. Now this is the first time that two 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 champions from the same fight camp will be getting it on in the Renaissance brawl, but this is something that has to be done. Debo said the young man had something on his chest and he was gonna knock it off for him. So now you hear from the other side. Let the people know what's going on, Rome. All I have to say is the couple of months ago I lost a fight against my, my trainer right here. So good. I, on the, on nothing but respect. After that match, a lot of people thought that I was a weak link. It doesn't work like that. Today I gotta show that off. Basically, history is gonna repeat again. When David took down Golit. Roman is going to take down Devil. That's what's going to happen tonight. Yeah, he's big, but he's slow. Let's see if he can match my speed and my intelligence. He think he got it? He underestimating. Something I like about that, I like when people does that. Because then I could show up. That's all I have to say. Right there, Fight Fans, you got your answer to the interview that was given by Big Debo. You heard the remarks of Roman. He's coming back, he's coming back with a vengeance and he will be respected. 
So until the fight, this is the Headbanger signing off. Holla back. What's up, fight fans? For all y'all that don't know, this is Jimmy right here. You know what I'm saying? This is my man, Jimmy. So anybody that's feeling froggy after the night and they want to get it on, step to my boy, Jimmy. He's accepting all challenges. I want big head Eddie, bobblehead. He want, uh-oh. <laughs> bobblehead. Bobblehead, bring that shit on. All right, Eddie, this is your invitation. Will you accept it like you've done in the past? Or will you run and hide? Bust your ass, big nigga. I'm gonna make you, I'm gonna sit you on the spot at the fucking seat of that runner's in the truck, motherfucker. Fight on that runner's in the truck, you bobblehead, motherfucker. Alright, we down to the wire. And it's a hot wire. We got Rome coming out of the red corner. Big bad Debo coming out of the blue corner. Fellas, let's keep it clean. Obey my command at all times. Let's have us a good fight. It's a three round fight. Each round will be a minute and a half. Red corner, you ready? Blue corner, you ready? Touch gloves. Come out and fight. Box. Box. They feeling each other out for the first first couple seconds of the round. He was he switching up. South Port to righty. South Port to righty. Get you, man. <laughs> Come and get you. Come and get you. Keep them hands up. Keep them up. Just keep them up. Product respect, motherfuckers. Let's go, kid. Yeah. Good head movement. Good head movement. Uh oh. Good clean punches. Come on, back out. Just keep it clean. Keep it clean. Good job. Good job. Thrown by brother Rome. Another one. Product respect. Another one. Uh oh. Good clean. Roundhouse coming from Steve Watch this. Ding, ding, ding. In the round one. That was a good clean, good clean round. Take your seat, take your break, brother. Rome, take your seat, take your break. You got you got 30 seconds break. 30 second break. Alright. Somebody been doing some conditioning. Don't look tight. Couple of nice pretty jabs came. D O came with those those solid left hooks. Was looking good, real clean. Lot lot better, a lot more professional than that Julio Eddie fight. You know, that was the one that went like this. <laughs> Alright, fellas, round two. Ding ding ding. Let's box. Right. I like the sportsmanship. I like the sportsmanship. A lot of movement, a lot of movement from Rome, a lot of movement. Good jab, good clean jab. Uh oh, that jab is looking real good. They say to run more rule of boxing, everything comes from behind the jab. Whoa, time out. Break, 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 break. Let's keep it clean. What happened? Let's keep it clean. What are you breaking for? Get the draw. Get the fuck out of here. Come on, man. Time out. You got 20 you seconds left in the round. You can't break. Yo, fuck. Time out. Time out. Time out. Y'all ready? Let's go. Last 20 seconds of round two. This has been a good, clean fight. I'm liking what I'm seeing. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Big Debo trying to throw a jab. Both fighters starting to get a little winded. Starting to get a little winded. Ding, ding, ding. That's the end of round two. Was another good clean round. <clears throat> Roman was looking good with them jabs. Debo came back with a jab of his own and a heavy left hook. The left hooks is dangerous. So let's hope Roman keep those hands up. Keep that head moving. Because I don't think you want to be standing still getting caught by one of them solid left hooks. <laughs> How we feeling, Red Corner? 
Good. How we feeling, Blue Club? Good. All right, this is the third and final round for Big Debo and Crazy Ass Roman. <laughs> Y'all ready? Yeah. Let's get it on. It's the last minute and a half. Round three, final round. And here we go. A lot more room in for Roman this round. Good, clean jab. I like that jab. He's stepping in with it. Uh-oh. He's stepping in with it. Uh-oh. Got him up against the ropes. Get sloppy, they get sloppy. Let's keep it clean, let's keep it clean. Everybody's good, everything's all right. Box. Let's keep it balanced, keep it balanced. Keep it balanced. A lot of movement, that's it, you better move. He keep, keep staying on his toes, he's on his toes. He's on his toes. You got Debo walking him down. He, that jab is looking mean, that's a mean jab. You're looking real good. Watch them hooks. He better watch out for them hooks. He's looking good with that jab. Keep your hands up. Keep them hands up. Comes back with a solid right hand of his own. Didn't connect. Looking a lot better in round three. Round one and two. I guess he was getting his feet back up under him. He's looking real, he's looking real good this round. Uh-oh, that jab. He's working off of the jab. He's working off of the jab. Oh, good, good, good punches exchanged on both corners. Both corners exchanged some pretty good punches. Now they're in the center of the ring. Center of the ring. Last 30 seconds of the round. It's the last 30 seconds of the round. Debo calls timeout. He says he's tired. I'm tired of the motherfucker. I never seen nobody call timeout in a fight. Debo say he's tired. He got a permission slip from his mommy that he can't get beat up no more. I'm tired. <laughs> Fuck you want me to do? <laughs> Free for all the motherfuckers. All right, Renaissance really fight fans. This has been another fight that's come to an end. This oh, really? is one of the best fights that we had thus far in the backroom brawls. It was a good, clean fight. Both parties showed each other a lot of respect. They kept it clean. Thank you. And they kept it professional. I love the sportsmanship. And at this time, we're going to take a break. We're going to review the tape and decide who's winning this match. We'll be high right back. We're back. We took the weekend off and reviewed the tape. I reviewed the tape along with Sharon. Um, and after reviewing the tape, as you can see, I am wearing black today, which signifies someone had a funeral. And I'd just like to commend Roman on his effort. He gave it all he had. But Debo, in the end, ended up killing him. This is why I'm dressed in black. Because I'm mourning the young man. I'm mourning my fellow boxer. But I got to I gotta commend the young man on his heart. He got a big heart. And he's not laying down for nobody. So until the next one. Roman, rest in peace, my brother.